Sleeping here, living here, fighting here. Uncovering how a volunteer army can stand up to the Russian war machine. Ukraine, the people's fight. Watch on BBC iPlayer. Why not lift a living income so people could afford the basics? It's always a compromise, and compromises mean that some people get more and others get less. Far well, well, too simplistic. That is not that, how the world first works. First of all, thank you for explaining. Did he mislead Parliament? My view is he didn't. Tremendous. It's always it's somebody right. else's fault. Whatever side you're on. Parliamentary democracy, that does matter. The conversation starts here. Let's start with this breaking news. Politics Live, tomorrow at 11.15 on BBC Two and iPlayer. This is BBC News, I'm Rita Chakrabarti. The headlines. Downing Street warns there'll be significant disruption tomorrow ahead of what could be the biggest strike day in more than a decade. Police chiefs apologise and promise cultural change following profound failures five years after a report into the treatment of the families of the Hillsborough disaster. We are now into 2023. How long does it take to read a report? to come out with your findings of what you think should happen. The UK will perform worse than any other major economy next year, according to the International Monetary Fund. Paper Chase goes into administration. Tesco takes over the brand, but announces over 2,000 supermarket jobs are at risk. And United in Music, this year's slogan, as the Eurovision Song Contest arrives in Liverpool. Hello, good afternoon. Mass strike action tomorrow will cause significant disruption, Downing Street has said. Teachers, university workers, civil servants, train and bus drivers are all taking action. Workers from seven unions will be on strike with around 500,000 people due to take part in the walkouts, making it the biggest strike in more than a decade, according to the Trades Union Congress. During tomorrow's mass strikes, the TUC will hand in a petition to Downing Street in protest at the government's proposed anti-strike legislation.